I'm out walking my dog and um, as you can see, no one on my street has any decorations except for moi. I'm walking my dog, he has to stop and sniff every leaf. So yeah, I was very disappointed when I was out riding around uh, looking for Halloween lights yesterday and I, I don't know if it's just people are friggin lazy or or what the deal is or if they're just tight asses but uh, now I know why a couple people on my on my street don't decorate because of their religious uh, observations uh, they don't celebrate any holidays but the two that live in these two houses over here are ridiculous they both have kids they go out trick-or-treating turn on their lights have pumpkin, one pumpkin, and um, don't give out candy or anything. Um, so I kind of try to take up the slack a little bit because there's so many slackers in this neighborhood. But this is the one with our graveyard and I can't really zoom in because I don't see very well at night. And, uh, but this is the graveyard and we got, I don't understand why my ghost lights that are on the house don't show up very well. I guess it's because of the light for the rest of the stuff. But that's the graveyard with a giant spider. Oh. And then my house. I wanted to do a live video, but um, AT&T is having trouble with their towers off and on. And um, as soon as I want to get to do a live video, um, I can't because we have no 4G um, available right now because the towers keep going out but yeah this is uh, kind of what the little kids are gonna see when they come up um, of course I'm gonna have some really creepy music playing and you know there's my ding-dong dog um, but you can see all this and of course I've got a couple of animated props that will go off uh, when the little turds walk by there we go And he'll go off again because I've got him on motion sensor. And then pumpkin head. And of course, my ghost. And he goes out of my chapel. I built a little wall that looks like a chapel wall. And then, of course, we have this the coffin here the lights in it, and um, some strobes. And then we'll go back by here again. Pardon my uh, animatronics. And, uh, there's my fountain. I need to add a little bit more water and red dye tomorrow because it's fading a little bit. And then I will be serving hot cocoa and cider um, on Halloween night and some cookies for uh, I guess my husband's friends from work and the people that he works with. Uh, they always come because they know I always have a big shebang out here for the kids so I'll have some cider and some hot cocoa for the parents and some cookies while they're standing around watching their kids uh, get the snot scared out of them. <laughs> it's not scary maybe to some of you guys, but the little kids are kind of creeped out by it. So, in my fireplace um, with my fake fire that I made three years ago when I did my witch and my mantle. And, uh, my candelabra or my chandelier I mean my candelabra and underneath the here I have my bench with my Halloween pillows and I covered it up so it didn't get rained or pooped on by the birds so but yeah um, I'm gonna plan on doing a, a video on Halloween of some of the kids reactions and you really can't probably see them but I strung 12 bats from clear over there by our driveway on a uh, filament line and it goes all the way over here to a tree and a ghoul 
and they actually glow in the dark but it's hard to see because of all the other lights uh, on this camera but um, anyway there's uh, 12 bats there and then I have various other bats um, hanging underneath of the, the porch and some other little gems so but uh, yeah I think I think I'm pretty much ready I'm still having a little trouble with my fog machine but if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't I'm not gonna stress and and sweat it because Halloween is my favorite holiday and um, I'm gonna enjoy myself uh, despite the schmucks that live around here so yeah you guys you all know, have a great weekend and um, a happy Halloween and uh, peace out bye bye